Hi everyone, welcome to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast, your daily audio summary of the latest news reported in the Ukrainian media. My name is Artem and here is the news. For 711 days, Ukraine stands strong against the forces of the Russian invasion. President Volodymyr Zelensky said he is thinking about replacing the commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Ukraine, Valery Zaluzhny, and changing the direction of the country's leadership, reports Ukrainska Pravda. Zelensky, in an interview with Italian TV channel Rai Uno, was asked to comment on media reports about Zaluzhny's possible resignation. Quote, when we talk about this, I have the rotation of several state leaders in mind, not only in one sector such as the military. I'm thinking about this replacement, replied the head of state. He believes that if Ukraine wants to win, quote, we have to push everyone in the same direction and be convinced of victory. We mustn't despair or give up. We have to have the right positive energy. That's why I'm talking about a reset, a replacement. I mean something serious that isn't just about one person but the direction of the country's leadership, unquote. Earlier, U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan stated that the U.S. must not interfere in the possible dismissal of Valery Zaluzhny, as it is sovereign right of Ukraine and the right of the President of Ukraine to make his personal decisions. On 29th of January, several Telegram channels and media reported about the alleged dismissal of Zaluzhny from the position, but the Office of the President stated that no such decree had been signed. In the same interview, the President of Ukraine admitted that the situation on the front line has reached a deadlock due to delays in the supply of military equipment. He pointed out that he was talking only about the war on the ground. Quote, we are fighting against terrorists who have one of the largest armies in the world. Ammunition is not enough, we need modern equipment, unquote, Zelensky noted. He added that the naval operation has achieved positive results, for example, setting up a grain corridor in the Black Sea. He also pointed out that the Russian army has been unable to advance significantly and has been stopped. We would really appreciate if you could rate us, ideally with 5 stars, and leave a glowing review in the app where you are listening to this podcast, Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, Spotify, and others. This really helps more people to find out about the highlights from Ukraine and truth about Russia's invasion. <music> President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky visited Ukrainian positions on the front line near Robotyne in the Zaporizhia region, reports Militarny. He was at the location of the 65th Separate Mechanized Brigade, talked with the military, thanked them and presented state awards. In particular, he presented the Cross of Combat Merit to the commander of the reconnaissance platoon, Senior Lieutenant Andrei Olshansky. Recently, fighters of the 65th Brigade defeated a group of Russian invaders who were advancing to storm Ukrainian positions near Robotene. They were spotted with drones, hit with artillery and drones. Press Secretary of the President Sergei Nikiforov confirmed to RBK Ukraine that the Russians shelled the village of Robotene when Zelensky was there. According to him, the explosion sounded not far, but asked not to be dramatic about it. In his evening video address, the President informed that he also held a security meeting in Zaporizhia dedicated to the situation all over the front line, including near Avdiivka, construction of fortifications and air defense. From there, Zelensky went to his hometown of Krivirih, energy infrastructure of which was heavily shelled. But the supply has been restored. Thank you for listening to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast. We are a commercial initiative of just two people and we need your help to grow. Share information about the podcast, rate us in the app, subscribe to our Patreon. With your support, we are getting better. We call on you to demand from governments of your countries to impose the toughest sanctions possible on Russia and its citizens to stop their invasion of Ukraine.